Okay, manga fans, here's Earl Grey, um, or coffee, and here's Earl Grey. Um, I have to say, my mind is blown, pretty much. Mm. Not only by the manga that I will show you today, uh, Search and Destroy, but <laughs> now for the fact as well that this one here, the series, is not, has not been published yet uh, in English. Uh, seriously, I just wanted to look um, for the English publisher because I would, I was um, pr pretty positive that this book here had to be uh, been published uh, by this media or, or whatever. No, it isn't. It's just the French publication so far and um, Japanese, of course, and, and German. Uh, as just as far as I figured it out. And this is really um, a shame that needs uh, repairing, fixing real soon. Um, because this really appeals to Western sensibilities. Uh, it's somehow between um, Paul Pope, it has lots of character characteristics by uh, the comics uh, by Paul Pope, and uh, Charles Burns. Um, it uses stark black and white uh, uh, aesthetics uh, that really please me. It's really it's enough out there to to intrigue me as an adult, uh, but it is not so gruesome that I mean you can give this let's say a fifteen year old uh, with good uh, confidence. Um, and it's an amazing story about the cyborg girl uh, who wants to have her body parts back because something brutally uh, aw awful had happened to her. And now she has to figure out it out how to get the, her stuff back in this retro fut futuristic world with these old cars, but in, in somehow a communist setting. And when you look at the covers, they have these vibes of uh, communist propaganda posters. Um, there's a lot of very idiosyncratic uh, stylisms uh, go into the mix here. And when you look at that lady right there, I mean, this cr uh, screams Charles Burns to me. Not the more recent uh, Charles Burns, but the more freakish uh, black and white out there Charles Burns, if you can make some uh, separation. By the way, um, um, Day Dolos uh, 2 is out in French and in German. Um, and somehow Charles Burns goes into new directions, more, um, yeah, maybe is a bit tamer. <laughs> but uh, watch out for my summary when the last part of the, I guess it will be a trilogy as well, uh, will come out. Anyhow, now to this book. But I'm a bit frustrated because I really uh, thought I would show the, my English viewers here something that they can get as well, uh, because I'm really excited about the series. Uh, and it's concluded in three uh, books here, and uh, these three collections, uh, maybe they're, they were uh, made out of two tankabangs, or how, however you ca uh, call them. Um, it's a, just a fantastic story with really um, um, good characters and uh, by a mangaka that goes by the name Atsushi Kaneko. I haven't even mentioned his name. Sorry about that. Um, and he's uh, somehow well known, I guess. At least I've uh, seen some advertisements for Wet Moon before. Uh, this is his other series, and what's uh, and there's Soil, and a re more recent book is Bambi, and uh, so. But uh, and he um, cites as his influences um, Alfred Hitchcock, Quentin Tarantino, uh, Charles Burns, Paul Pope. <laughs> um, and yeah, Suire Maru, Maru, but uh, for the most part, Western comics and not manga. And, and you can really feel that uh, in this uh, book here. 
again, manga is not better or worse than Western comics. It's just something different. And for us Western readers, it's always a treat when you get this art that is more familiar to us. And um, this character um, is a reference to another character, but in uh, Osamu Tezuka's uh, version, uh, she was um, a boy, I, I guess. I haven't read that. It's, so it's uh, the same thing with uh, Astro Boy that was reinvented, sort of, or reused by uh, Urasawa in, in uh, Pluto. Um, which I haven't read either, but uh, I guess this is the same thing, the same deal that they uh, did here or he did, because it, see, it seems that he doesn't work with uh, assistance, something else that he share, shares more or less uh, with the Western. Um, oh, look at that. It's, it's really a treat and I really hope uh, Okay, you will find maybe something a bit more adult here and there. Um, yeah, she has to get her body parts back and so it's not so easy peasy all the time and, and nice. But the story is nice, the art is nice, uh, the whole ride here is nice and you can read this very... Yeah, and it pulled me through from, from the first to the last page. So it's really a bummer that uh, there is no English translation, but I think I repeat myself over and over again. Was intended just to, I, I really thought about yeah, skipping this video because I, I had done enough videos uh, talking about stuff that isn't available to, uh, in the English world of the comicdom, but hey, I really think that this book will be published uh, rather sooner than later. It, um, in, in German it uh, came out just recently. So yeah, thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.